Everyone knows that Grok can generate videos for free, and the speed is insanely fast. But do you actually know how to use Grok to create a full one-minute video while keeping the character consistent? Well, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to generate a one-minute or even longer video inside Grok for free using just one single image while keeping the character consistent from start to finish. If you're new to my channel, I hope you subscribe. I upload new videos every week, sharing AI tooltips and how to create AI videos. All right, let's get started. Step one, create the story script. I'll use ChatGPT to generate the story. Open ChatGPT and enter this prompt. Create a 60-second engaging Disney Pixar 3D story with exactly two main characters to maintain visual consistency. The story must be fantasy and adventure, written in simple, easy-to-visualize language. Structure and Requirements I've already organized the full prompt into a doc file. You can find the link in the video description. Click Send. And boom! Just like that, ChatGPT gives us a full 60-second story script. You need to check the script carefully. If it doesn't meet your expectations, you can ask ChatGPT to revise or optimize it. For this demo, I'll just use the script as is. Then, enter the second prompt. Good story. Next, you need to provide me detailed prompts for each scene. But make sure you connect every next scene with the previous one for a smooth story flow. Hit send. Here we go. Now our story with 12 scenes is ready. Next, go to Grok. If you're new here, click sign up and use your email to create an account. Once you're signed in, the Grok interface looks like this. Then click imagine on the left. We need to create the first scene image first. So choose image and set the aspect ratio. In this demo, I'm using 2 to 3. Then copy the first scene prompt into Grok. And don't forget to include the character information at the end. As you can see, Grok generates multiple images for you, and the speed is super fast. I'm going to pick this one and click Make Video. You don't even need to enter a prompt. Grok auto-generates the video for you. Obviously, the auto-generated video isn't perfect. So let's paste our own prompt in and try again. If you're not happy, just click Redo until you're satisfied. It's free anyway. Now let's move to scene two. Oops. Even though Grok gives us many images, this character and atmosphere don't match the first scene. This breaks our consistency. So what do we do? Keep watching. First, open the video from scene one, click pause, drag the timeline to the end of the video, right click and select copy video frame. Paste it into the chat box and Grok automatically starts generating a new video. The video looks fine, but it doesn't follow our story prompt. Later, I'll show you how to turn off the auto-generation feature. Here, we need to copy the Scene 2 prompt and generate the video again. And just like that, Scene 2 is done. But to save time, before we make Scene 3, we need to turn off automatic video generation. Go to User Center, click Settings, then Behavior. Scroll to the bottom and turn off Enable Automatic Video Generation. Then continue creating Scene 3.
If you're not satisfied, click Redo. Repeat this process for all scenes, then download them all. Remember, AI-generated videos are not perfect every time. You need to try multiple times. Next, voiceover. Go back to ChatGPT and type 60-second voiceover script. Then we get a full 60-second voiceover. Copy it and go to Google AI Studio. If Google AI Studio doesn't work for you, use Eleven Labs instead. Click Text to Speech with Gemini. Choose the mode. Then click Single Speaker and pick a voice you like. Paste the voiceover and delete the timestamps. After everything is ready, click Run. One minute later, the voiceover is ready. Download it. Final step, editing. In this video, I'm using CapCut. Drag the voiceover onto the timeline and remove the long pauses. After that, add the video clips one by one and adjust their timing to match the voiceover. Since Grok videos are in 2 to 3, we can convert them to 9 to 16 to fit TikTok and YouTube shorts. Then add captions. And finally add background music. All done. Export it. On a stormy night, deep inside an ancient forest, Mira discovers a tiny fire spirit trapped under a fallen branch. The creature whispers, Help me, before the darkness wakes. She lifts the branch, and Lumo bursts out glowing wildly. Something is coming, he warns, staring behind her. The trees suddenly bend backward. A deep roar shakes the ground. Mira grips her staff. What's chasing you? Lumo dims. The shadow beast. It wants my ember heart. The roots crack open under their feet. A giant black claw bursts from the ground. Run! Lumo screams. Mira grabs him and sprints. They skid to a stop at a massive cliff, mist swirling below. Behind them, the beast rises. My ember can light a bridge, Lumo says, but it will drain me. His glow flickers. No, Mira whispers. She jumps, usher all, but the beast grabs her ankle midair. Lumo erupts into golden fire. Take it, beast. The blast blinds the creature and Mira is freed. They fall until a glowing fire bridge um, forms beneath them. Lumo fades weakly. Mira kneels, touching her staff to the bridge. Warm light flows back into Lumo. He brightens again. The fire bridge stretches into the horizon. Lumo smiles. Ready for the next adventure? They run forward into the light. How is it? The character consistency looks pretty good, right? I even made a few extra demos. Let's take a look. On a stormy night, deep inside an ancient forest, Mira discovers a tiny Help. fire spirit trapped before under a fallen branch. The darkness the creature whispers, wakes. Help me. Before the darkness wakes, she lifts the branch, and Lumo bursts Something out, glowing coming. wildly. Something is coming, he warns, staring behind her. The trees suddenly bend backward. A deep roar shakes the ground. Mira grips her staff. What's chasing you? Lumo the dims. Shadow beast. The shadow it beast. Wants my ember heart. It wants my ember heart. The roots crack open under their feet. A giant black claw bursts from the ground. Run! Lumo screams. Mira grabs him and sprints. They skid to a stop at a massive cliff, mist swirling below. Behind them, the beast rises. My, my ember, ember can, can light, light a bridge, bridge Lumo but says. But it will drain me! But it will drain me! His glow flickers. No. Mira whispers. She jumps, usher all, but the beast grabs her ankle midair. Lumo erupts into golden fire. Take it, beast! The blast blinds the creature and Mira is freed. They fall until a glowing fire bridge um, forms beneath them. Lumo fades weakly. Mira kneels, touching her staff to the bridge. Warm light flows back into Lumo. He brightens again. The fire bridge stretches into the horizon. Lumo smiles. Ready for the next adventure? They run forward into the light.
If you're still watching until now, thank you so much for your patience. And congratulations, you just learned a brand new skill. Some people may feel confused. In this era of information overload, new AI tools and functions appear every day. As we learn more and more, our brains feel even more overwhelmed. In the end, we feel like we know a little bit of everything but aren't truly good at anything. So here's my advice. When it comes to AI tools, focus on mastering just a few. Learn one to two tools for AI images, one to two tools for AI videos, and one to two tools for AI script generation. Becoming really good, even expert level, with a few tools is far more powerful than knowing a little bit of everything. You may notice that many big creators do the same. After trying tons of different tools, they eventually stick to a small handful they truly master. For me personally, I use ChatGPT for script writing the most. I use Google's Nano Banana Pro the most for images. I use VO 3.1 and Grok the most for video generation. So the real question is, which AI tools fit your workflow? Which tools can you master to improve your efficiency or even help you earn money? That's what you really need to think about. All right, that's all for today's video. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Good luck.